difference, offshore wind capacity needs to be ramped up worldwide and fast, because it's difficult to envisage how we can attain the 1.5 degree goal of the Paris Agreement without a large scale deployment of this flexible and proven solution to the most pressing challenge of our time. Carefully planned and executed, offshore wind farms would not be threatening biodiversity or arable land, disturbing communities or competing with other industries or livelihoods. On the contrary, they can be placed out of sight and out of mind. They can even serve as artificial reefs attracting and protecting marine life. Offshore wind conditions are generally more stable and predictable than onshore, offering more reliable production of electricity. The windmills can be built larger than those on land, and the wide ocean space offers more flexibility in optimizing location, scale, and design. Therefore, in my opinion, all littoral states should consider offshore wind an important part of their toolbox to step up, speed up, and scale up the fight against global warming and to increase their nationally determined contributions on the Paris Agreement. Thank you, Sterla. I couldn't agree more. Now, we know that ocean renewable energy production is one of the most important elements in the energy mix for reaching carbon neutrality, leading to new jobs and re crucially retraining skilled fossil fuel workers for a new career. But it's clearly essential that we don't solve one problem and cause another. And by causing another, I mean having a negative impact on marine ecosystems, biodiversity and marine life. So it's essential that new offshore wind developments adopt what we call a nature positive approach. This means nature should be considered from planning to development from the very get go. As Sterla said, nature inclusive designs will play a key role here, such as smart offshore foundations serving as artificial reefs. And also importantly, the environmental monitoring undertaken by offshore wind farms can play an important role in monitoring nature based solutions. What's really important is that we need an ecosystems based climate smart approach to government led marine spatial planning to identify areas with low biodiversity for the development of clean energy producing offshore wind. We should change our mindsets from no go areas to go to areas to reconcile clean energy and nature. Mm -hmm.